Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and oh, we are on the very edge, very, very edge of dying from lack of power over here. Yes, over time, we have made ourselves a nice little expansive base, but if we go and have a look at this energy uh, tab over here, you can see the maximum power we can produce if everything that we had that could produce power was producing power is 9.2 kilowatts, where the potential power could be consumed is 11.3 kilowatts. Now you might notice that one number is significantly higher than the other and it's totally not the way around that we like those numbers to be. So we need to try and do something about that and to do something about that, yes indeed, I'm going to start taking advantage of this little dripping water vent down here. Now this water vent down here, this is literally down here because I do not know what else to do with the liquids and I was thinking over overnight about what we could possibly do with it and I was seeing that we've got this whole bunch of space over here and we need to get some oxygen down for our atmospheric suit so I think over on this side over here if this is where the pipes actually lead off yes indeed I'm gonna go ahead and make us a little oxidizer setup other things I'm trying to do to mitigate the power uses, as you can see we've got these uh, not uh, not oxygen sensors that we've put all around the base. These are doing quite well at keeping this whole area clean, but you can see that we've got one up here and we've also got one down below. So this one in between technically shouldn't be necessary. Another thing that I do want to get on to, and I'm not sure whether today is the day for it, is this um, gas, gas filtering system here. Uh, not only could we do a more passive system if we saw, surely felt like it, but actually We've got a whole sort of situation where um, a lot of these gases are being passed through multiple filters before they need to go. Now, I'm kind of happy with the carbon dioxide being one of the last filters in use because this is one of the, one, one of the uh, elements we get the least. But you can see there that, the, uh, like, for instance, the carbon dioxide has to be passed through a whole bunch of filters before we get to the, la the, the last one which is being used. So maybe we could be a little bit smarter about figuring out what waste gases are all coming in together here and then doing the um, element sensors in a particular order to make sure that the most common ones are being dealt with first. We're not wasting energy on them. Oh, another Slickster into the group. Ah, oh, welcome. That's a nice little side side effect there. Nice. Okay, so all the planning is in place. Well, I say all the planning. We haven't got the uh, the oxygen out here down. Okay, but that's cool. We're going to be uh, releasing a whole bunch of hydrogen up into this upper area here because I want to use it to collect a whole bunch of cold up top. You can see that I put down a bunch of farm plots. So in comes the super hot water from over this side. It's not super hot it's only 95 degrees and it goes through a nice little s curve here where we've got five wheeze warts that are going to be chilling down this area the hydrogen has been released from the electrolyzer here Psh, up it goes so that should be pretty good filling this area with oxygen and hydrogen this pump is going to be trying to remove the majority of both those gases but because it's on the same level as the electrolyzer it's going to end up pumping a mixture down to the gas filter here the gas filter is going to send the hydrogen off to the hydrogen um, generator that's the word I'm looking for and then the oxygen goes off hopefully to these atmosphere suits and then hopefully this is enough to keep things powered in fact I think we want to throw and fit in a battery here somewhere if we can there we go and now a battery for the steady flow of gases I'm gonna throw an insulated tile now we're just gonna throw a normal tile down underneath here as well and that should make everything nice and stable for us Whilst we have plenty of wheeze warts all the way over here that we could quite happily use for the system that I would like to put in place, I'm feeling like maybe we could use these ones out and about. Also, maybe we'll take a moment to have a look at this neutronium patch here. It's probably going to be some sort of geyser. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be. Uh, my money is on, oh, I don't know, liquid metal there. That would be the worst, right? It's low, whatever it is, we can just kind of like place blocks all around it. So it's going to be some sort of like slush geyser or something, maybe? Oh, that would be great. A slush one would be amazing, actually. Okay, we've broken into the main chamber here. Now is the time to come along and go, hey, this planter block, I'd like some uh, some weeds warts in there, please. Uh, a pretty high priority, and I'd like that copy across to all of them. That That is what I want, and hopefully now my duplicates are going to come along and make this happen. Hmm, we've got all the natural gas down here, but no one's coming to turn it over. If we could just get this running, here comes Mimi, thankfully, at some point. Uh, Mimi also likes to build, so she kind of splits her job between operating and building. Jelly did a weird thing there. I wonder what that was about. But now, hopefully, Mimi, our current errand, going to go down and kickstart this entire process, which should give us enough gas to keep going. I have heard also that, uh, no, not deconstruct, if I disable one of these, uh, that the uh, gas guy, 
fertilizer here could probably only support three. So let's run it on three. Ah, oh, downtime has just happened, but hopefully... What's Dr. Captain Subs down there doing? He was just running back and forth. But hopefully we've got enough gas in the system that it can start keeping itself running. No. Okay, that's... That's legitimately a small problem there. What about if we come and have a look at just this one down here? Yeah, no, that's, um, that's still a bit of a problem, actually. So the majority of my power consumers are not actually running here, but there's this, like, gas filter. Oh, I didn't think they ran on 120. That's got to be this one, right? Yeah, gas filter, 120. It's really hard to find out which ones they are, though. If I click on this, is this a gas pump with a... No, but there are two gas pumps somewhere that are working. So this one's working hard. Okay, that's fair enough. I can kind of get down with that because you're all the way down here. But how about if we just um, disable you for now? Okay, so that should now just completely turn that off if I have read this correct. No, is that not a red signal going in and then it... Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so we need to, like, collect... Surely it should, like, none. Output none. No? Okay. I'm going to select carbon dioxide and just turn it off for a little bit. I'm going to do the same with any other gas pumps that I find up and running. And I'm just going to do my best to try and, like stop the power bleed that we have right now. Another thing I'm going to try and do is take this liquid out pipe here, go up and across to the same sort of length as this, and then go liquid bridge, and this will just just give it somewhere to aim for. So I hope then we can come along and destroy all these pipes and get this like nasty stuff here that we've got all in these pipes out. Hopefully the uh, polluted oxygen will be picked up by the pinch peppers on the way past, polluted uh, water, sorry, uh, and all the other liquids will end up over here. So whilst we leave these guys to try and finish off this build over here, I'm gonna come down all the way down over here because this is one of these situations where I feel like maybe we are misusing our uh, filters here. If I switch over to the gas over you can see the majority of what's coming through here is in fact oxygen but oxygen is this filter why not make it this first one so that we can jump out nice and easy without having to pass it through two filters As you can see that tiny bit of hydrogen there wouldn't it be great if it was just that one okay so what we're going to do i'm going to press x we're going to rip this down and we're going to rip this down uh, i kind of want to keep that wire in place though so we're going to cancel that deconstruct and i'm going to uh, uh yeah, we're going to let that all die there. Uh, and we're going to see who's going to come along and do these jobs for me. In fact, we're going to go P. And in fact, maybe actually to make them done right in front of us. Let's do this. Okay, we've got Mimi and Decipher coming down to answer the call to, to action. Uh, oh, and we've got Misaligned over here. Hey, I didn't know you were all the way over here. Does that mean that you have begun the digging? Uh, I don't know. I thought this is where you were going to be. Maybe that is where you were headed to before you finished, uh, before I rudely interrupted you more. Okay, so now that that is disconnected, we want to go to the ventilation. We want to get some more gas pipes out. So this is now going to be the oxygen line. So I'm going to pull this out and we are going to make a gas bridge over like that and then I'm gonna have the hydrogen coming up into that take a moment to swap these around if I can find where the oxygen is in the system there and the hydrogen is just up there okay beautiful uh, and then the last thing we want to do is to put that automation back gas pipe element sensor pop it there connect it up with the element wire the automation wire and then we need to actually tell it to do a thing as well okay beautiful tell it what filter to select Okay, the pipes are in place, so um, instantly we should be receiving something like half, well, a, a doubling in the power efficiency. There's a bit of oxygen up there. That must have got through whilst we were doing the swap over. A little bit of a shame, but that should now be better. Oh, man, that's going to, like, get in here and get frozen. Let's press the F4 and see where it even... It's been... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Hopefully it's going to just drop down and get out of here. All right, last piece in place. Hydrogen sensor. Beautiful. How did this normal water get here? What? No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hopefully... Hopefully someone will come along with the high priority fix here, but wow, but wow. Okay, somehow this does indeed seem to be functioning more. Not sure how it's working though. Like, where's the power even coming from? We've still got zeros all the way across the board. Got a coal generator or wood burner, and that's it, coal generator and wood burner. So for a little while now, I've been involved in this situation where I remove an egg from the hatchery over here. I say, hey, can you incubate me again? Because really what I'm trying to do is move the hatches from here. You see, we've only got one now. There was like six there, and now there's not, and now there's like three down here. And we've got a great deal number of hatches, but of course, Cubic comes along to... Uh, I mean, like, that, that, that is kind of what I asked for, but at the same time, really, really not. But I thought whilst we're at it, hey, let's choose a, a blueprint. Yeah, I'll take that that copper. We very rarely get any copper, though um, we could probably do with some new duplicates at some point, as soon as we get some more power flow in. But the power situation is actually... I was, I was going to stop my sentence there, but then I thought about it. I was like, actually, you know, let's have a look. The power situation is definitely doing better. That's 
Can we not look at the energy from the heavy joint plate? That That's a little, uh, sus not suspicious, surprising. I, 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 I thought we would be able to actually see this energy tab here, but okay, fair enough. So we've got a wood burner on the go. We've got some natural gas on the go. The coal generator is not burning, uh, which is a little surprising because this is why I'm trying to get all these hatches running. And I'm feeling like we might actually need a second hatchery somewhere. I mean, do we just copy it out over this way? That might be the case. Also, I keep noticing people are, are running around with a little bit of scolding on the go. So let's uh, let's try and fix them up a little bit, shall we? Wow, these guys are getting through there pretty quick. Miss Line and Matt and... Uh, sorry, not Matt, Fran. Miss Line and Dr. Captain Subs got in and out almost instantly. Then why haven't they made this delivery yet? I'm not quite sure why. But anyway, yeah, they were in and out almost instantly. And we're going to give Mad Frank a quick go in there. And of course, with his... Oh, let's have a look here. Very low amount of health missing. Seven points... Uh, eight points, sorry. Missing. It should be... Uh, well, should work out pretty well for us. Nice and quick. Starvation. Oh, no. Wait, I noticed this earlier and then we didn't do anything about it. Look. Oh, no. Okay. No, no, these were all under pressure earlier, but now they are in the correct pressure. So I should imagine some food will actually arrive. Mr. Lion's going to come up here and sort herself out. Hey, Forrest, you're being chill again. Ha, ah, my crazy plan worked. I, I did actually expect it to work as well as that. Uh, we need to get rid of that one and get rid of that one, and it'll all be nice and smooth. Also, I'm going to go cancel that one out. And then we need to figure out what's going to happen with the water here. In fact... The first thing I need to do is put down a tile over there, put that as the highest priority, and hopefully that'll get built before those get broken. If a little bit of water gets spilled, it's not the end of the world, though. So now that it's night time and I've asked them to put the hatchling egg... Oh, hey, Mimi, how's it going? Now that I've asked them to put the hatchling egg in there, hopefully the fact that they're over here means these ones are closer, and because they look for the item that's closest to them to pick up and take to the job should mean they pick these ones up, right? Right? Fingers crossed. All right, let's see how that works out for us. Anybody going to run past that? Okay, Decipher is the man. I mean, that makes sense. He is the guy who is in charge of ranching. And indeed, he picks it up. No more eggs there. Job done. All right, awesome. We've now got four eggs down here. Oh, three. One of them must have hatched or something. But yeah, we've got loads of eggs down here. Loads of hatches. This is um, quite a system down here, though. I'm seeing a lot of problems. So I think what the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to start by putting down a critter sensor over here. The problem being the fact that we have got too many hatches here. Too many hatches. Hatches. Now, as I explained last time, what's going on and doing a whole bunch of research into how to get... What's researching the steam vent? I found a whole uh, a whole host of channels showing all sorts of uh, wonderful contraptions. Uh, and one that really stuck out was an automatic critter killer, which I know sounds horrific, but we want to be able to balance the number of critters we have there. So I'm going to put down a critter sensor here, and I'm also going to put a critter sensor underneath the door. Now, this door makes this little area that I'm trying to open up here a separate area from the stable. So we'll use this critter sensor to count how many we have up top. We're going to want six because that's the maximum number. And then we'll use another critter sensor to see if there's one of these critters underneath. When that one triggers, the door will close and we're going to put just a little bit of liquid underneath. Uh, of course, this will drive all the gas out of the area and the critter himself will slowly starve, uh, not drown. I was thinking about food. And then we can come along and grab the food to take it back so our duplicates don't starve. I don't get it. We've got our gas generators turning, but they're just not making enough power over here, are they? You can see we've got two, three on the go. Keeps dropping down and up. Uh, but still, it's just like 2.4 kilowatts consumed uh, consumed and used. It's, uh, it's quite painful. So we got auto bottling on, but the people aren't moving the stuff. How about we just make it a super high priority until all of this water gets taken away? That would be pretty cool. Car cubic, let's go, let's go. Let's do it, man. You've, you've got it for me. Yeah, look at all that water going. How much do we need to actually shift? It's going to be quite a lot, right? Okay, Mimi and Cubic legitimately swap jobs halfway through. That's fine, that, that's fine, that's fine. We can live with that. Okay, first one done and beautiful. But of course, this obviously needs to empty out and then someone else needs to start bringing more because we have got all of this up here to empty. Uh, big days. I'm going around turning all the priorities down to five. Uh, I say all the priorities, but of course this does mean that there are a few things that I'm going to go back and set. These are things like the grooming stations. I want these to be on a seven. So this should now mean that this is the only patch of red in the entire map. Okay, that's cool because I would also like to make another p patch. 
nice and red. This one right here. Yeah, that's right. I'm saying this is the most important job on the map right now. And even with that status, it's still not getting the jobs done. Like, what? Uh, I see. Jelly, the only man who has the supply, uh, is being told to come over here. I'm wondering whether... Uh, does, like, does that count as supply the bottle empty? I think it does. And that makes sense whilst, why the two things would conflict. I kind of wish there would be two separate ones, though, you know? Oh, it's... Store water. There we go. Uh, element type story. Okay, so if we come up to here and we uh, we get rid of all this, the supply. Let's let's turn jelly around like that. Let's see what happens if we do that. Because it does look like maybe I've ignored this job the whole time we've been having the map running. That would make sense though. Shouldn't Luna be tidying up? I'm fairly sure. But either way, we now have people fighting over to be the one to move the uh, the stuff down here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm particularly interested in finding out what salt water they're moving. Yeah, look, look, look. They're just picking up little boxes, uh, little bottles from somewhere, uh, which is kind of annoying because we want to move this stuff. Thought so. I just saw a 443 kilogram delivery down below, and we now no longer have water up here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Sorry, uh, salt water. This is the place where we put our polluted water. We don't have a uh, bottle emptier ready for normal water, though it does look like down here we got some things underway. All right, I want to pop this back down. I turn it up to a high priority uh, for silly reasons. But over here, we're going to go uh, into this way. I want to have an and gate, okay? We want to have an and gate. Oh, that's a shout. I just knocked down the door to try Try and turn it around the other way with the automation on this side. But it turns out that I'm not allowed to do that. Okay, that's a bit of a shame here. Okay, so we've got uh, two sensors. I want to, like, come out and around this way. This is really bad. Okay, we'll go in like that and we'll go in like that. Uh, and then we'll come out across and then jump over. There must be a more, more clever way of doing this. Oh... Ah, this is a bit of a problem. Can we put this on a higher priority somehow? I mean, like, I know that it's a power situation, not a... Mmm. Ooh. Okay, we're definitely going to have to try and work on that somehow. The, pa the, the, the backing up of the sanitary systems is just the worst. Just the absolute worst. I wonder who our first little guest will be. Someone's going to have to walk in there at some point. But we're set up that if we have a certain number uh, above... No, we want to have, like, above six here. Um, if there's more than six in this area, and then one person, so below one, even walks into here... Uh, that, that's a little bit annoying, though. He keeps jumping up to the top there, and I'm not sure why that is the case. Have we got too much water here? It's only three kilograms. It should be fine. There's no germs or anything like that. Uh, maybe we'll mop a little bit. Oh, I'm not sure about this. It uh, took a little while to get some stuff in there. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if we can uh, entice anybody in there either. That, that would be good if we could. I've seen these guys fly in, but I've not seen anybody go past there now. Oh, there we go, there we go. So this now closes. Oh, I see a problem that we've got there. The hatch is going to bury himself underneath. So let's try and put that in there. And then maybe we might even need to put some more water in afterwards. Okay, the trap has been sprung, but people are also... Uh, uh, well, uh, I suppose that's the thing. All right, we need to turn this inverted, I think. Uh like that can we do that one yeah we can do that one okay that, that should be fine okay the trap has been reset let's see how we do one guy jumps in there and that should be enough to close the doors okay beautiful beautiful uh content warnings here guys we're about to witness a savage and brutal murder uh let's just cancel all these jobs around here and we can witness this guy oh he's he's in a bad time he's uncomfortable he's glum he's uh, drowning as well uh, we're gonna have to take a little while to wonder about how long this strength is gonna take to uh, not straight, sorry, health is going to take to drop down. Uh, is there a breath meter? It doesn't appear to be a breath meter, and it doesn't tell me how long he's going to take to drown. And I don't want to just yammer on and on and on until, like, until, like, he dies, because that, you can already hear that I'm running out of words. I uh, legit, why don't we get a breath meter for them? What's going on there? Uh, properties? We got anything in here? No, nothing in here. We literally just got to wait and he'll die eventually. And there he goes. All right, cool. My next trick, I'm going to kill all these shine bugs. Or at least we want to try and get them out of here. Is there a way of like, you know, if there are shine bugs in here, close this door. Or if there are shine bugs around, close this door. Is that an automation? Let's have a look. We've got a critter sensor, but it's not a critter type sensor. Yeah, that just doesn't exist. I mean, fair enough. Oh, we got another one. No. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is something that's not happened for a while. People are making a mess. All right. All right. It's time for a major overhaul. I'm going to deconstruct some wires over here and we're going to drop down 
A manual generator. I hate doing this like so much, but it needs to be done. All right, Mad Frank has got the deconstructor. Now I'm going to throw in some... I'm going to throw some conductive wire in because we don't use that enough. Uh, and now I'm wondering whether we can use a transformer to take the power from this tiny circuit and feed it into the grid when it's not necessary. I don't know. I don't know if there's... I, 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 I only ever use the transformers to go from chunky wire down to little wire. And I'm sure that's just a bias inside my own head and we can just use the transformer as a, a, a diode, if you you will uh but yeah i don't i don't know oh no we've got a pip on the loose quick let's wrangle him up and try and drop him off over here somehow oh we do not want him out and about going through all our stuff and dropping it all on the floor sounds horrific all right let's drop that there instead well it's not ideal i'd really have these uh, really rather have these last two bits of wire in place so that we can uh charge up a battery but you know mimi's keeping the water flowing and that's the important bit here <laughs> all right battery hooked up brilliant awesome this should hopefully now mean that we're starting to move towards uh, yeah storing power for the uh the cleaning of the water that's nice that's nice the next thing we gotta worry about is these guys for the good of the colony's hatches i'm gonna have to take out these shine bugs because they count on the count towards the number of critters inside here oh one down one down one down kill yourself kill yourself go on do it yes here we go. We'll just drown one of them now. Okay, that's nice and easy. Uh, because, of course, if it had stayed out here, one of the hatches would have gone in instead. And you just know after time there would have been enough shine bugs in there to, like, match the number six that we've got in there. And all our hatches would have gone in there and died and we'd been out of coal makers again. And that would have made us very sad. Oh, this is this is kind of brutal. In goes Miss Align to beat up a baby. A baby. Mistakes might have been made. We're going to let that shine bug die. But first, well, not first. One of the things we want to do is pump this six up to an eight. I'm going to let the shine bug die, as I say, though, because he is totally in the wrong area. Then when we pop it up to eight, we'll be allowing for eight critters inside the stables, as is actually the upper limit. The six that I had in my brain there was actually four puffs. How long is this guy going to... Bam, there. Take two, though. Right, brilliant. Next thing I want to do, as I said before, was to copy this place out. I want to have a hatchery over here and a sage hatchery over here. So that would be pretty good. I think the best way to try and do this, if I get out my old council tool here and go over this way, you can see it's a 24 by 4. That sounds great. I'll do that. 24 by 4. Okay, there we go. It goes just inside of this little area over here. That's fine because we're going to make use of it. Is this water or ethanol? It is ethanol. Hopefully when we open this up, it will all drop down, in, uh, down below and that would be pretty cool. In fact, shall we... Uh, just do this. Go bam. Can you please drop this down here? If anything else, it will go down into that area there. Beautiful. One of the good things about having the crit feeder right up close by the door seems to be this is where all the coal gets dropped off. Unfortunately, we only seem to be making like 140 overnight. Though hopefully by taking the sage hatches out of here and popping them over here, we could end up with eight, sa eight normal hatches in here and then eight ha sage hatches in there. And that should work out really well for us, actually. Oh, I realize I've made a problem. Let's, uh, let's so sort that problem. You see how there's ladders here? We need to have a ladder here. I mean, technically, I suppose the, the uh, dupes could pull themselves up, but I, I kind of don't like to rely on that. I'm, I see no reason for them not to. I don't know, maybe if they get, like, burnt or something, but, yeah, I just, I like to allow for eventualities, you know? Oh, dear. Miss the line currently suffocating. Well, we got down on the bottom here. This is, this is actually pretty bad. I didn't mean for this to happen. Maybe we just dig our way out of here. That'll work. Uh, P9, let's do that, and let's turn all of these into a much lower priority so Miss knows how to dig her way out. Okay, this should work. Down she goes, starts digging through there. Hopefully people will also fill this lot in, and that would also work. Uh, whilst I was trying to place tiles, I realised that there is a little bit of a bomb nearly there getting in my way. Alright, Miss, go go be safe. Go be safe. Alright, off she goes. Brilliant. Where, where are you even running to? It's a long way down here to find polluted no chlorine polluted oxygen there's uh, there's a nasty mix of gases down here we need to turn this back on at some point well somewhere along the line we've managed to balance out the power so this is pretty good are we storing any power up here i mean it's just about making power just about losing power now that we the uh, the day is woken up but this is good this is good Okay, so this room isn't quite classed as a full stable yet, but what I want to do is come along and wrangle these sage hatches up and drop them off over here. I've already set this up to be the sage hatch drop-off, wherever it is. There we go, sage hatch. And hopefully I was smart enough to come along and take them off of this list. Yes, indeed. So Decipher, wherever he is right now, he's normally up here working with this lot. Yeah, Decipher should come down and take care of this. 
let's make it super high priority. All right, my man. Yes, brilliant. All right, that's that's what we're after. The wrangling is taking a little bit longer than normal, but hopefully now someone else should come along. Let's have a look. I can't see uh, any stat for that, but we do have a stat for this. Let's have a look. Decipher the man himself is the man who's going to be going around and doing all these. Are they men and women? I don't know. Duplicants? Are they? Do we actually give them the same labels as we give humans? I'm I'm actually not sure. Oh well, relocate critter R jelly. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. And then the drop-off happens, and hopefully they should just now live free and happy lives in here. I filled up their food uh, feeder. Food feeder? Yeah, with dirt. So that should now mean they're all good. What I am worried about is them getting down here and pushing into this abyssalite. I have asked for the highest priority that this one get filled in, but it seems like everybody's like, nah, I want to do the closer one first. You see this guy here? He's been going through all our equipment. Actually, no, we'll wrangle him. We can wrangle him. Can we have a little bit of a critic drop-off here as well? That is good. All right, I was about to, like, totally slaughter him for the greater good, but it turns out that maybe this is the way ahead. Let's make this a super high priority. I could even actually just do that. Jenny's already on his way. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's the storage bin. We want this guy. Yes, indeed. Come, come on, Decipher. Where are you? I need you over here so we can get this done. Okay, here it goes. Interesting wrangling on the side of the wall. That's, uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see whether he just falls down or stays on the wall. Like a pip you would expect to just stay on the wall. But, oh, there he goes. He's falling down. Uh, now, hopefully, hopefully, we've now got uh, a little bit of a, a loop, uh, a little bit of alert abuse right here. Should bring Mad Frank into the fold and doing the job that we need to do. The relocate, I don't know why it always gives us two jobs for relocation here. Uh, it's something that I noticed down below when we were moving the hatches. Uh, yeah, not sure. Not sure at all. All right, two pips, ready to go. Talking of ready to go, let's have a look in this printer. What have we got? Water? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. No, let's take the omelets instead because we do happen to have a lot of water just there that I would like them to use. Do the door, guys. Do the door. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. Not one. Oh, my God. All right. That's now two hatcheries dramatically opposite each other. We've got a normal hatchery over this side. And we've got the sage hatchery over this side. Hopefully now we should start making enough coal to see us through the times of lean power. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where, I don't know, we're probably going to have another episode where we're trying to go around and find out where all the power is going. The good news is, though, we now have enough power to self-power this entire gas production facility over here. The, uh, the... Look, I mean, just look at this. It's all backing up beautifully and wonderfully. Uh, we're going to have some more steam on the go as soon as this stops being dormant. Though I'd really like to see what happens when the temperature reaches the point where all this water condenses out of the air. Ah, oh, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!